hi guys welcome back to the channel and today i'll show you uh, the one of the project which i designed on the last week and which is this autom home automation project so i used the figma design which is designed by someone else and i'm the qt developer and uh, i'm not using uh, like uh, designing the design and i'm not the designer i i'll use the figma design which is someone else designed it i'll mention in the description of the video and put it the link of the figma so you can directly download the uh, figma design and download the assets from the design and you can use in your own projects so this is uh, the project i'll show you and i'll so i'll explain the source code of this projects and uh, also upload the source code to the github repo so you can directly download from there there and this is uh, the project designed and using the qt QML and which support the qt6 font or the above the 6 uh, version of the qt and this is source code not able to run on the qt5 because this is some of the library are uh, using the qt6 which is which mostly the graphics related library and if you want to run this uh, on the qt5 you need to I'll uh, apply the library version of the QML and also need to replace the some of the library which is the gra graphical effect related. So you need to replace this library. I'll explain in the uh, this video uh, how to uh, you can run this uh, into the Qt5. Otherwise, you can directly run on the Qt6. So let me show you the first of all the Figma design where. Uh, I see this design and uh, develop in the Qt and QML. So let's I'll show you the fig Figma design. So this is the Figma design. Uh, this is the basically the components we use in our projects. So here are the icons you can use this. Otherwise, you can directly go to the font also. Uh, dot com so you can directly use uh, the font family of the font awesome and uh, apply the icons so this is the re icon and let's search the up icon only i need to select this free not the save so you can directly download from here and just uh, click on that this and uh, uh, copy this uh, the unicode and directly apply uh, from here so let's first uh, i'll show you the project so this is the project where i designed this is the single component i'll use in whole projects so like if uh, we need to create the button and uh, the this uh, icon or the level uh, level button so single button we use or uh, design the single button so it will use for as a svg icon and it will use as a unicode icon it will use as a level level button so this is the custom switch so where i change the color of the custom switch and design for the specific our requirement and uh, this is the slider we use custom slider and we can use uh, here we made the property which also show uh, the tool tip uh from the current value and this is the spotify uh currently i'm not inbuilted the spotify just uh for the ui purpose so i'll copy uh the basically let me show you the design first uh where the design is this is the prototype and color design and some something so this is the design i'll use in the figma so you can uh, if you see you you can also access the font and font family from here this is the available and this is the paid version uh, you can buy this and this is uh, designed by the someone else uh, this is the product de designer you can visit on their profile so let's uh, go into the thumbnail section so this is the basically design and if you see it will similar 95 percent it will look similar like uh, the figma design and so it this design we achieved from the qtq man and i'll show you the uh, the color codes and all which is the product designer mention here if you go the color style section it 
will here mention the colors we are used for the our design and let's show you the whole project uh, which i designed it and this is the living section living area of the home automation so it currently uh, like uh, i am running the timer so it will updating the some random value from here but uh, if it will uh, like and on the production and it will directly fetch the sensor value uh, from uh, the sensors and reflected to here and change the value uh, based on uh, in which section we are looking for okay so i'll also design it with the slider if you see here it will look the uh, tooltip and this is the progress bar updating on the real time running so currently it only uh, the showing the ui and after that will connect from the back end so it went uh, so in the real time okay so this is the level level indicator we see it on off and if you see the some hover effect here we'll implemented that hover effect when we click on this it will generate some hovers so it will indicate okay and now it is clicking so this is button also indicating the some hovers and let me show you the settings here so this is i designed the web view here and apply the pages here and this is uh, uh, currently not designed because i don't have the idea about the designing related so as i got the design from the figma uh, only we reflect from the uh, using the qt so this is the sum of the design i'll implement it myself so uh, all the bulb are available uh, smart lamps are available at the homes and different different and which is connected from the wi-fi and the bluetooth and some of the other technologies like li-fi technology or the jigbees related so we can connect from here and directly on and off uh, so it will if you see here it will generate uh, some effect uh, on uh, on and off related okay so here i also i implemented the cctv if uh, here it go the live if you on it will show the live and here it will in the background it will show uh, the camera uh, related stuff okay so this is the security tab some of uh, like it's been it's still not implemented but we are implementing soon this and i'm upload this project uh, in the and github so let's show you the github proposal where you can directly uh, download the source code from there so uh, the sum of the pro uh, project are I previously implemented. So you can directly uh, download the source code from here, any of the project if you like. And uh, this is my contact information from here. If you have any doubt or, or need to discuss something, so you can directly reach me out over the link time. Okay, and directly on Telegram, but if uh, and you can also directly use my mail uh, which i mentioned here gmail linkedin so you can use these uh, two channels for to connect uh, with us and you can directly uh, download the source code from here and i uploaded all the source code project related so i'll also mention this figma design into the description of uh, the video so you can download from there so let me also i'll explain the uh, source code how it the structure will work so first i'll go to the man.cpp file where the starting point of this project so this is the starting from project so i first i load the font family uh, and uh, apply to the font family uh, to the whole gui application which uh, directly use lot of font family so you don't need to include every time uh, whenever you write the uh, some labels and fonts so, so it will directly apply the lot of family okay so here i implemented some different uh, app uh, application class so where i manage the other stuff like registering the QML classes or QML files into the C++ and directly then again use into the QML file so let me I'll show you the concept of uh, uh, the registering the QML where I use register the single uh, type of the style.qml uh, which is uh, directly import uh, as a smart home 1.0 and this is we can use using the style dot let me show you this how we use here so this is the uh, class uh, or the QML file which I'll register inside the CPP as a singleton. 
so this is the compulsory uh, need to add this pragma singleton uh, uh, for restring the class into the c++ so i use this color code and let me show you how i use so first uh, i'll uh, import this file into the main.qml file so after resting it will visible to the qml and you can directly use using the style so here we use the style dot alpha color and this is the function written in the style file so if you see every uh, component uh, if we require this uh, style or color something so i import this smart home uh, 1.0 and use directly all the uh, color related or something which i'll mention in the inside the style so we can directly use that if you see this here i am using the style dot text color so this, this is uh, implemented here this is the property of this we can use using this otherwise what uh, you need to do you need to i uh, import this directory inside this component and after that you can use this okay so this is uh, what so this is the main window application so what i use here uh this is the some of the values uh changing currently here from here loading and this is the timer for the real time are running from here in the second living area so this is the every time running once uh, you implemented the back end of this project so it will directly load once the sensor send the data it will automatically update the ui okay so currently it only work from the ui here i implemented the header header which is related to the this top of if you see that this is the menu button this is the notification button and this is, uh, this is the main, uh, the toggle button uh, basically uh, the tab button so this is the tab and here i am using the dynamic component so it will only load at a time we use that tab so here i am uh, implemented the loader so it will load the directly so once we click on that any of the tab it will load that screen so this is the concept written in here so i use the load function so here i'm putting the current index and based on the current index i will load that uh, screen to uh, the loader or basically the main area so if we go in, into the main area main area means uh, this is the display of the home so this is the main area where i designed this so if you look in inside this i'll implement it the this timer custom component which is responsible for rendering the ui which is the time frame related like date and the current time are currently running here and if we go down the footer let's see the footer 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 our area that is the area where i implemented this sections first second third and fourth which i manage by the layout so i implemented the row layout here so this is a row layout where the four section are available first section and the second uh, second first section second section and third section and the fourth section and further we implemented the column layout because we need to manage and the three rectangles first uh, second and three for the second section so this is uh, managed easily via the layout and if you see this is the fully responsive layout if it automatically increase and decrease the sizes if you look at this this should get fully responsive this is also fully responsive if you see but at the certain width and height so you need to fix some certain width and height it is also response responsive because if you are not using the layout and the anchor properly it will not uh, resizable so uh, keep in mind so use properly resizable to use uh, layout and the columns and let me go to the different and home screen so here the home screen which is managed by the content the left pen middle pen and the right pen and uh, let's go budget on the settings screen which is the laundry base and here also i implemented this and go down to different different buttons component air conditioner lighting in different security and these are the uh, other multiple screens available for the dashboard let me just show you this is the settings and setting step there are the different screen like one two three four five six seven eight nine so all the nine screens are available let me show you this screen so the dashboard air conditioner lighting applications communication settings and security if i am talking about the cctv which i will show you here if you 
click on the cctv so here it will look the so i manage by the grid layout basically and uh, i'll implement it the model in here if you see the cctv model this is the available so after if you be implementing in uh, the real product or the, the production build so you can use this uh, as a c++ model and uh, which i'll uh, cover in previous some of the uh, videos so you can take the reference from there and implement uh, in the c++ side so whenever the sensor data will come and will load to that model and reflect uh, on the ui so and also, also using the lighting model lighting model also similar implement in the backend side so if you click on the a lighting tab it will show real time so it this is also the responsive if you see this is also responsive if i switch to the uh, little bit uh, high it will show yeah you see and we can use this something like this okay so this is a uh, lighting model and this is the room model basically room model is the top of of it if you see the home living kitchen and bedroom and area this this is the living area this is the kitchen area where i'll implement it the slider if you see the uh like uh, here the tool tip which it looks as some tool and look the hover effect here so this is uh, the design also see so that's that's all the project uh, if you go deep down on into it uh, if you see this is the multiple screens are available security communication and lighting room let me show you the cctv camera uh, screen here the content area manage the page pen which content uh, and provide the background and the content items so i'll manage this and using the grid layout i'll implement it this provide the cctv model which is the cctv model model i'll show you that one the cctv model and this is the delegate or the tiles we use here so if you go inside the tiles this is the tiles we use and provide the value from the model and these are the property we use so to show and these are property written inside the model so it will directly load from this model these property and so and inside the ui how i i'll achieve this uh, the glass uh, uh, design basically let me show you the glass design so i'll go into the main area and i go the first rectangle which is uh, the rectangle is this one so this one uh, i'll achieve using this alpha color alpha color the uh, function are written inside this uh, style so you can see here i'll apply the qt darker uh, which is the alpha related alpha also alpha uh, means uh, the fourth property i'll apply and return it that so if you see here i'll apply the alpha color so you can also achieve as per your requirement so you can directly download the source code and read the uh, this uh, uh, source code and uh, take the reference uh, from here if you want to achieve the similar behavior so that's all for this project and see you in next. Thank you guys.